Okay. <laughs> Hang on, let's put this on Snapchat, shall we? All right, let's do this, shall we? <sighs> Welcome back to Osco Academy, everyone. Uh, let's load our game here. For those of you who missed the impromptu stream the other day, uh, we... What did we do? We... Oh yeah, we played... Uh, we played Satch's route, and I think that's what's saved on the second page here. No, 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 sleeping in class is where we are now. A gentle snoring filled the classroom, steadily growing louder. Students were glancing around, trying to locate its source. Also, hey, I have something to show off. Uh? Yeah! I have follower alerts now, that's what I was trying to set up, and that's probably what caused the bug. I should just repeat all the st all of the follower alerts from the bottom up. <laughs> I'm going to actually. Thank you for following. And, and hey, thank you for following. And I already ran. I already ran Jenny. And hey, just wait. No, not- Oh! I'm just gonna hit repeat on all of these. Thank you for following. And they should all come in eventually. Thank you for following! Ah, I'm so happy that these work. These should all come in slowly here. B Baby G! Thank you for following! <laughs> PBG sat straight as a stick in his desk, his eyes closed. I heard PBG have fallen asleep. Thank you for following. Thanks, Neon Cat Plays Minecraft. That's your name. That's a great name. There weren't any extra packages the normal books clubs were having, nor were the soccer team. Thank you, Cameron Costello, for following. <laughs> I waved emphatically to Shane, who began to prod PBG in the side. Mmm, turnips. Thank you, Lufana, for following. <laughs> Uh-oh. Miss Shizuka stalked over the desk and slammed a ruler across its surface. Uh, uh, Mr. Buttergamer, wait, <clears throat> I forgot Shizuka's voice here for a moment. Mr. Buttergamer, I do believe you could use some help staying awake. Uh, uh, um, no, I'm sorry, I was just, um, uh, I'm studying too late, so I, um, uh, quiet. She slammed the ruler against his desk again, then leaned towards him until their faces were an inch apart. For an instant, I thought they would kiss. Ooh. I hate men who lie. She straightened up and pointed to the back of the classroom. Perhaps standing would help keep you awake. Y yes, ma'am. PB stood and slunk to the back of the room as Gittles. As Gittles. Yes, they're like they're like Skittles, but with a G. Gittles. PBG stood and slunk to the back of the room as giggles skittered across the class. Oh, do I hear a few people wanting to join him? The giggles silenced immediately. If I can hear any more interruptions, you all have a 12-page paper to turn in tomorrow morning. Holy... Holy shit. Oh, shut up! The rest of the class passed comparatively unvent uneventfully as we united in the universal desire to not have any homework. Never had I more strongly <laughs> no, never had I, <sighs> never had I strongly felt more that I belonged in Osagao. Jeez, I, I always forget how sensitive this mic is. Maybe just stood in the back like a solemn soldier, 
Solemn soldier, staring at the blackboard, hardly even blinking. I'm so hungry right now. Like, I'm, I normally eat at this time. So my stomach is like, eat something. Wait, he wasn't blinking. As the bell rang, I sprang out of my seat and went to PPG. <laughs> um... He drew eyes on his eyelids? More than that, he'd fallen asleep standing up? PBG, wake up. I shoved him. Uh, I didn't mean it! Please don't take Pixel! Uh, um... Whoa. He blinked at his surroundings, then looked down at me. When when his sprite... Oh, it doesn't have the eyes when his sprite blinks. That would have been great. Good morning. Oh, Hana, it's so nice to see you right when I wake up. Man, this day is going to be good. It's lunchtime. We're already in class. He squinted, glancing around him. Uh oh So we are! Why are you so tired? Is there something you need help with? He scratched the back of his head, then smiled. Ah, uh, no, I'm fine! I thought you were doing the eye thing again. The eye thing? Yeah, falling asleep standing up is PBG's specialty. This has happened... before. Oh yeah, you see there was this one time when we were crossing the Atlantic on a boat and I needed a coat rack for Jacques to stand on, so I just used him. Uh... What? It was only for three weeks. What? Three weeks? John, are you insane? Yeah. Well, I gave him bathroom breaks. What, do you think I'm a monster? PG yawned and glanced at the clock. I think I'm gonna take lunch by myself today. If I take a nap now, I can last through the rest of. <sighs> if I take a nap now, I can last through the rest of class. But are you sure? I can at least watch over you. You don't want to continue, boys, drawing something on your face, do you? <laughs> Again? No, no, it's fine. Really, I'm okay. Also, if I'm all stubbly, it's because I lost a bet with an internet friend. <clears throat> I lost a bet with an internet friend, and now I have to not shave until my next recording. And this is a real issue for a reason I will explain right after this drink of water. <clears throat> with that, he slipped out of the classroom. John, has he been sleeping well? Oh, something just cracked in my low back. Ow. Hmm? Uh, yeah, I think so. It's just sleep, Hana. Half the kids in this class are perpetually sleep deprived anyway. You don't gotta be so worried. Why am I so peaky on my mic today? I don't know what the deal is. Like, am I bumping my- oh, I'm bumping my mic. Let me just change hands here. Anyway. I have a very, um, I have a story I'm very excited to, t to talk about. I have to shave because I got the job of John Deere. <laughs> like, I don't know if I mentioned, but I applied at John Deere and I went and interviewed and it went well. And I was like, yes, I'm very pleased with this. And then I waited until today. So it's been easily a couple weeks now. And... <laughs> You know, they had to have the job opening open for two weeks, and then now it's been a couple weeks after it's closed, even. And they finally got back to me and called me today while I was out with my mom at quilt shops and stuff. They called me, and I was like, I don't know where this number is from. I'm going to answer it just in case. And it was the person from John Deere, and they were like, oh, yeah, we'd like to offer you a position. Offer you the position you interviewed for. Oh, we're going to pay you $14 an hour. Is that all right? I'm like, yes. So I may have to I may have to shave. I'm sorry, internet friend, but worry not. If if it takes too if it takes long enough for all of the preliminary paperwork to get finished, then I may just I may just actually be able to grow enough of a beard that I won't have to shave it. We'll see, internet friend. We'll see. Well, yeah, but this happens with him every now and again. He'll in a while he'll be back to normal. Don't worry. Uh, you say so. Well, I do. Yeah! Come on, let's go to lunch! I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry, and I can't eat until 7 o'clock! <laughs> you guys are worth it, though, don't worry.
Unfortunately, since I'm still hungry, I'm going to be drinking, like, all of my water at the very beginning of the stream. I'm probably gonna have to pee really bad at the end of the stream. We head to the cafeteria. I was watching for PBG, still feeling a little concerned. But to my surprise, he wasn't there. We hadn't left that long after him, though. Shouldn't we at least run into him in the line or something? Unless he hadn't gone to lunch. Was he skipping on... Was he skipping out on food to sleep? I burp when I'm hungry, and it's really annoying. My throat tightened. The whole situation was filling me with some panic, and I had no idea why. Sorry, I want to notify my girlfriend that I am strim. I am strim. Because I feel like she wants to... Well, she subscribed a year ago, so... The whole situation was filling me with panic, and I've already read this line. John is right. It was just a little bit of sleep, right? So, why was I so worried? Hey, Hannah. Hmm? I turned to face Mai, my key hovering before the door's lock. We haven't gotten any notes from your secret admirer, have we? <laughs> your secret admirer, Mai. Sure. Eh, you win some, you lose some. I guess so. Let's get started on those brain exercises. Hmm. I don't like the fact that I'm 90. Ugh. I hate this! My clawed her hands through her hair, screaming at the smallest piece of paper, lying on her desk. Why does everybody any why does anybody ever need calculus? Who uses calculus? Who uses school? Can confirm you do occasionally rarely use calculus. It, at least in my experience with computer science, like there are definitely fields where you're just you're just using calculus all the time, <laughs> and there are other fields where you use zero calculus, and then there are fields in between, like computer science, where you use calculus and algebra, but it's not like the main function of your job, you know. That's why I got into computer science because like I don't have the patience to be a pure math major, you know. Like I love high math, which is weird to say. Like I I enjoy high math. It's fun when it's when they come out to straight answers anyway, you know? Or, like, if they come out to an answer that, you know, is just full high math or is or comes out to an integer answer where it's, like, if it's not, like, a fraction that doesn't reduce nicely or... Like, I like discrete math, I should specify. Like, I, did, I like discrete math and I like pure theoretical math because both of them are on ends of a spectrum. Like, and that's... I, I, would, I don't want to say that's why I enjoy them, but I like them because they come out to straight things, you know, it's either a straight concept or a straight number. Like, I don't like when it comes out to, like, half of a concept and then a number. It's like, stop! <laughs> you know, because, like, cons you know, like, concepts in math, you know, they don't come out in reality sometimes. <laughs> because math is unrestrained by reality. Anyway, I shouldn't talk about this, I should play the game, I'm so... Well... well don't answer that. I'm sorry, Mai. I answered it already. It was a relatively cool night, but in response to that, the Academy had turned on the heaters. It's the opposite of relatively cool here. I think it was like a hundred some odd degrees today. It was not okay. I'm amazed that I don't have my fan on. I'm even wearing jeans. I'm surprised I'm not like dying of sweat right now. That meant it was abysmally hot in our dorm room, and our pajamas stuck to our skin when we moved. Ugh, that's the worst thing when you, like, try to move and your and your clothes just stick to you. They're the worst. That's gross. Even I didn't want to be working on homework anymore. Hey! Want to take a walk? Mai stood and walked to the door. Please. I'm trying to, like, be gravelly and angry, but I'm also trying to speak as much as my and it's not going well. Also, I re-recorded, uh... Well, I've recorded like three or four chapters of, my, of one of my books, and I re-recorded an audition track so that a person, so that the person in question could get an idea of how my actual feminine voice comes across, rather than me just reading the feminine dialogue in a normal tone of voice. Ah, it's so much nicer outside. Oh, voice cracks. The evening air cooled our sweat, and a soft breeze ruffled our hair. We left after curfew, so there was no one roaming the walkways as we picked our way across campus. 
We were rounding the corner of Bluebell House when Mai stopped. Do you... Do you hear that? Yeah, it's my stomach growling. Hear what? <gasps> A noise! The sound of something being hit echoed through the air. No one's supposed to be out this late. I... I think it came from over here. Mai took off in the direction of the soccer field. I really don't think we should be investigating something like... Mai was already too far gone. Carefully, I tiptoed after her. There, look! Mai grabbed my hand and yanked me down behind a bush. <laughs> it's Pewee Cheek. What? What's he doing? I peered out from behind the bush. She was right. PBG stood in the middle of the field, bouncing a soccer ball from his head to his foot and back again. It looks like he's... practicing? I... Suddenly, PBG punted the ball in the air, into the air before him and raced after it. A loud grunt echoed across the entire field as he kicked the ball into the net. Oh my gosh! Uh, damn it! PBG! He's, like, grinding himself into the ground because he, like, froze up during a soccer, the soccer match. <sighs> Poor thing. He ran to the ball, kicked it out to the middle of the field, and shot it into the net again. Oh, damn it! What's wrong with him? I... I don't know. I've never seen him so angry. Me neither. We shifted closer together, an unspoken thought passing between us as PBG shot at the goal again. He was scary. Maybe we should get out of here. I looked at PBG. He was drenched with sweat and panting up a storm. Another yell echoed across the field this time as he kicked the ball past the goal and went chasing after it. Now's our chance, Hana. Come on! Um. I mean, he's doing this late at night, so he doesn't want to see anyone while he's this angry. I'm gonna save the game. And then... And then we're gonna follow Mai. Mai was right. If he came out here past curfew to practice, he probably wanted to be alone. There was no point in butting into his business. If he needed my help, he'd tell me. Right? Okay, let's go. We dashed up the hill we came down, but just before reaching the top, I slipped. <gasps> I slid down the hill. Hana! Mai jumped after me and grabbed my arm, stopping my slow descent. She looked across the field and tugged on my arm. <gasps> Come on, Hana, let's go! I got to my feet and struggled up the hill. Fearfully, I looked over my shoulder. PBG, now a small figure in the middle of the field, was looking towards us. I couldn't make out the expression on his face, but he made no move to stop or call out to us. <sighs> Mai and I made our way back to the dorm in silence. You think everything will be okay? I didn't know, so I didn't respond. I... PBG was shoving books into his locker. Maybe today? PBG. Hey, PBG. Hey. Hey, I... When he realized it was me, he closed off completely. After glancing around, he shut his locker and dashed into the classroom. <gasps> PBG had been avoiding me ever since the incident at the soccer field. He didn't want to talk to me at all. He sighed. Is it, is it still bothering you? Of course it is. I, I, I'm really worried, okay? Maybe you should try talking to him. Someone else. Not talking to him. Maybe you should try talking to someone else about it. If talking to PBG isn't working, he doesn't seem to be working. He's kind of closing you out, dude. I glanced across the classroom. Shane, John, and PBG were looking at something Shane drew, and they were giggling. That's a good sign. Well. I guess you're right. <clears throat> it wasn't until the next day that I got my chance. I ran into John and Shane while heading to class. PBG was nowhere to be seen. Hey! Hey! Guys, I, uh... I dashed towards them. Hey! Oh, Hana! 
Yeah, you be a Sundara plane, Shane. What's up? What's up? Well... I, uh... I played Shane's route off-screen, and he's such a Sundara plane. You know what PPG has been... Uh, working really hard recently? Uh... No? Hmm. He seems tired recently. Haven't you noticed something off with him, John? You're his roommate. Sorry, Hana, I'm usually the theater. I haven't been around much. He has been working harder than usual, but... I'm worried that he's working... <sighs> I'm worried that he's working too hard. He's been going out to the soccer field every night and practicing for hours. This again? What do you mean? When PBG has something he really cares about, he tends to work extremely hard at it. So this isn't the first time this has happened? Well, from what you're saying, it seems like this one's more extreme than usual. But yes, this has happened before. I don't think it's that big of a deal. I... I guess if you guys think it's okay, that probably means it's okay. But what could be driving him to work so much harder than usual? He shouldn't stress himself out too much. Something soft hit my head and I looked up, startled. Trust him. Shane was patting me on the head, and he was smiling. I know you care about him a lot, but PBG isn't a little boy anymore. Yeah. He can take care of himself. I... I guess so. Without another word, Shane left. Hey. Wait for me! What just happened? A hurried Luke dashed past me. Hana! Hana, you'd better hurry up. Class starts in a minute. What? What? Thanks! I followed him to the classroom and burst through the door just in time. I collapsed into my seat with a sigh. I glanced to PVG's seat. Where? You. Is there some. Is there something wrong, Miss Mizuno? I won't tolerate talking out of turn. N no, sorry. I returned to my gate. I returned my gaze to the front of the room, but my eyes. My mind was. A different place. PPG hadn't come to class. The next day I watched the classroom door with worry. But sure enough, no PPG. The bell rang and class had started. There wasn't any PPGs here. Uh, Hana, Hana, are you okay? I'm sure he's fine, don't worry. I... yeah... But my mind couldn't help wandering to terrible thoughts. As I watched Suzuka draw pictures on the chalkboard, my mind drifted back to my childhood. Back then, PBG was always needing my help. He'd stub his toe, or get chased by a raccoon, or have turned on the television at night and seen a movie about aliens. Each time something bad happened, he'd come running to me to make him... make himself feel better. I knew that a lot of time passed between now and then, but the PBG I saw now was so similar to the PBG I knew then. What if that hadn't changed? What if I instead... What if instead of learning how to manage his problems, he just learned how to bottle them up? And now instead of asking for help from the people who cared about him, he pushed them away and took it all into his own hands. Now when he needs help, he takes his anger out on other things or gets too absorbed into what he's working on. In that case, if his friends don't see the need to help him, how will they ever get better? And if he hurts himself, I... I... Good job, class. I'm leaving now. Except for you, Marcus. She placed a paper on one of the more attractive boys' desk. <laughs> I'll be seeing you in my office. She... Winked at him? And waltzed out of the classroom? I... What? Holy crap! It's finally gonna happen! Shizuka's finally gonna hit on a student. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Oh man, there's no way I'm gonna miss this. Come on, come on, come on. We gotta check this out, Hana. There's enough time to peek and then we can eat lunch if we hurry. Don't worry. You... You go on ahead. I think I have to go talk to John. Really? <sighs> Seriously? Come on. <laughs> Alright, fine. Maybe Jared will come with me. Oh. Oh! As Maya left the classroom, I approached John and tapped him on the shoulder. John! J John, I... What's up? Oh, hey! Hi, Hana. What's up? 
Well, it's kind of about our conversation yesterday. I, uh, what do you need? Well, PBG didn't come to class again, and I'm, I'm worried about it. Hmm. You're right. Usually he's sneak. You're right. Usually he's snuck in by now. Well, if you want, we can go up and check in the room. Last I saw him, he was still sleeping. Yeah. Thank you. Together, John and I made our way across campus. As we climbed the stairs of the room, I finally asked him something that had been bothering me for a while. John, where's Jacques? Where is Jacques? I didn't even notice Jacques had disappeared. J Jacques? Oh, he's, uh, he's, um, he's fine. Definitely nothing wrong. He's, uh, installing an update, uh, to get a uh, cybertronic beak. So he can, uh, uh, chop through raw iron, yeah. Raw iron? Oh yeah, all the cool birds have one nowadays. You know I couldn't leave him out of the loop, the little guy. Uh, if you say so. I didn't really believe him, but he didn't seem to want to talk about it. I'd rather not talk about it. Oh, that video's not out yet, is it? No, it's next week. Next week's Thursday video is gonna be so good, guys. I, po I know I mentioned it in the Legend of Zelda video uh, from this week. So I don't have to be particularly surreptitious about it, but I'm so excited for you guys to see me play Code Lyoko. I'm also really excited for my new job, and also like I should in theory still be able to like do. I should still in theory be able to keep up my normal video schedule. It's just 40 hours a week, you know. Besides, it made about as much sense as anything John had said before. Here we are. We stepped into his. We stepped into his and PBG's dorm room, and he closed the door behind us. I wish my dorm was in this good of order. That'd be so nice. PBG was fast asleep, curled into a tiny ball on the bed. It's a dollop of peanut butter, guys. <laughs> How is it possible for him to be so small when he was 6'2"? Is PBG actually 6'2"? I'm Googling that. I... I know I'm like on about how we're how are different from actual person, but I need to know about this. Is PBG six foot two? Oh no, my internet's so slow. I forgot because I'm streaming. Uh, I don't know. I I don't know if Austin's actually six foot two. But I'm not going to be able to find out on camera, am I? I'll post it in the description of this video of the stream VOD on Saturday. <laughs> Good morning. Wake up, beauty queen. PBG shifted over. Mm. You've got to be kidding me. He climbed over PBG's soccer bag and began poking him in the side. Hey, mm. hey, wake up. Come on. No. No, leave me alone. I'm tired. If you don't come to class, you're gonna get kicked out of school. You want that? Uh, no. Come on. PBG. PBG was in for a rude awakening as John swept his blankets off of him like a matador. Awaken! Uh. Ah! PBG shrieked and flailed against the bed in a perverse imitation of a toddler's temper tantrum. I don't want to go to school. I want to sleep. I want. I need to sleep. I'm sleepy. Let me go to sleep. I really want to sleep. Please. I need this in my life. Oh, man, this is awful. John turned to me. I'm sorry, Hana. Could you leave us alone for a bit? <gasps> Hana? I, I, uh... PBG shot up in his bed, banging his head against the beams of John's bunk. Ah! <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, shut up. Leave me alone. I'm up. I'm up. Okay. All right. I'm up. You woke me. Yeah, yeah. Hana here was worried about you, so we came to get you. I shuffled awkwardly back into the entryway. <laughs> Pardon my intrusion. I'm. I'm just gonna. Um, hold on. I. He trailed off. The tips of his ears turning pink. <laughs> I'll be in class after lunch. Okay. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'll, I'll go now. 
I scurried out of the room and headed for the cafeteria. When I got back to class... I can't believe this. Damn, it was a total fluke. Shizuka was giving him, like, an application for some college thing, like an internship or something. That's why she winked. I got a college internship, guys. Oh! Oh! Actually, I don't even know if it qualifies as an internship or if it's just a part-time job. Whatever, I could theoretically get the paperwork done for it to count as an internship. I totally thought that they were gonna... I totally thought they were gonna get it on, too. <laughs> I was expecting 60 shades of blush out of Hana because of that statement, but no. Hmm, that's not too bad. At least they didn't, like... What are you grinning about, huh? I know you're grinning about something. Is it PBG? Did he take your maiden hood? I glanced across the room at PBG in his seat. He caught my glance and gave me a thumbs up. Yeah! Nothing. Oh, you lovebirds. L lovebirds? No, no. It's not like that. I swear. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let me know when it gets juicy. PBG stayed in class that day, and for a few days after that. He looked absolutely exhausted every time I saw him, and he rarely responded to what I was saying. At lunch, he ate his food and absentmindedly picked at his dessert, never listening to the conversation. I was worried. He was clearly acting strange, but nobody else seemed to be paying him any attention. I tracked Nick down to ask why, and all he said was, This has happened before. It kind of just has to run its course. Eventually, I pieced two and two together. A big game was coming up. Apparently, if Asuka won, they'd significantly better their chances of getting to the finals. I didn't understand why, but they'd be able to lose two games instead of only one. As the deadline approached, PBG got more and more anxious. Then one day, he didn't show up to class at all. He's still not here. What's going on? This is the second day PBG just hasn't come to class. Luke glanced at PBG's seat. Yeah, I guess you're right. I... What was Ian's voice? It was... Oh, I was... I was Sans because he's in Comic Sans. Don't be sad. I glanced up at Ian in surprise. No? Ian rolled his eyes. If he's not hurting himself, if he's not hurting himself, there's no problem. He can make his own decisions. You've got yourself to worry about. This tournament isn't going to win itself. He grinned and my throat caught. The tournament! I'd been so worried I hadn't been practicing at all. That's what I thought. You can't make this easy for us, Hana. We really will beat you if you don't work hard at it. I uh, yeah, you're right. Ian shook his head and walked away. When it finally registered that Ian had left, Luke followed him. I shouldered my bag. Mai was nowhere to be seen, so I headed home alone to do some practice. I am 60 shades of starving right now, guys. I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to, like, stop the stream, go eat, and come back. I will, I will be back. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna... I'm going to do a two-parter today. I'm going to go eat because I'm so hungry right now. Like, I, my stomach, I'm upset. I, I have an upset stomach because of it. Let's save the game here. And I'll, I'll come back in, like, a little while. Because I need, to, I need some food in my life. So, BRB.